Now, the NDC's presidential candidate, John Dramani Mahama, ended his tour of the Upper East region with an overnight campaign traveling to hard-to-reach areas in a last-minute bid to woo the vote of the electorate. John Mahama and his campaign team left their hotel at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday and returned at 5.30 a.m. Wednesday morning. Maxwell Agbagba was with the team and reports how some reporters of the party slept at public parks as they waited for his visit. Um, the NDC presidential candidate um, has been moving to various um, constituencies. Um, as we speak right now, he is in Paga and he's about to uh, greet the chief of Paga. But what you can see behind me is actually the main Navrongo um, to Paga road. Now, this road, there's a traffic situation on this stretch because many NDC supporters um, have gathered here, all of them waiting um, to hear John Mahama speak at the um, Pagatu's palace. A lot of them um, are waiting, some of them on motorbikes, as you can see, jubilating here. So they have caused some kind of a traffic situation um, here on the main Navrongo Paga Road. In jubilation for them, this is not a rally ground. The NDC presidential candidate is just coming here the chief of Paga and all the supporters have converged here. I have with me the member of parliament for Baku Central, um, Mahama Yariga. He's here with me. Let's find out from him what the campaign has been like. He's been received everywhere enthusiastically. You can see the energy, the young people are yearning for the second coming of John Dramani Mahama as president. I mean, they are listening. He's taking his time to deliver the message to explain what he will do in his second term and the focus on continuing on the infrastructure development and providing job opportunities for the young people and skills training and etc and developing the agricultural potential of the north is something that is going down well with the people of the north and everywhere we go the people are yearning for NDC to come back Great. So you can see the energy all around yeah there's no doubt that victory is ours we wait to see it shall be. Okay, thank you. So you just heard from Baku Central MP uh, Mahama Ayariga. Now, the NDC presidential candidate has been talking about um, the Japa deal. Um, he's saying that for persons who illegitimately benefited from the deal, if the NDC wins, they should return uh, the monies. I think he has hit the nail right on the head. And what did he say? He said that all those who might have benefited from the deal putting the interest of the nation first and when you look at the report of the special prosecutor the reason for which he resigned and that's also an indictment on this administration to have the special prosecutor resign at this time is an indictment the report has indicted the president the report has indicted the finance minister the report has indicted the Deputy Minister of Finance. And so, if any of these persons can be said to have benefited from the deal up to this point, I think that I will support a future NDC government led by John Draman Mahama to take our money back and prosecute them. Hey, hey. Hey. from uh, Mr. Ibrahim Maliba. Ibrahim Maliba is a member of the NDC. Legal team and oh, I'm very very happy oh, no. because this is our candidate who is coming to to lead us in the victory. And this this, this MPP government actually, when they came into power, we are suffering. You are suffering. You say you are suffering. What do you mean? You suffering? Because how do you mean? Uh, what I mean is that when they came, the business, all the business, they collapsed. All the banks. Collapse. So we are now. We don't have even food to eat. It's difficult for us. So excited because we are having the next, the incoming present in our midst. That's why we are so excited. It's 2:34 a.m. and we just left the Busa South constituency now. Um, through the Busa's North constituency, we'll be going through um, Navongo. But there is a stop right now, and the NDC presidential candidate um, is meeting one of the uh, chiefs here in this community shortly 
all these vehicles were in the Busa South constituency. Even around this time at 2.33, it was a quite rough terrain. Um, if you're sitting in a vehicle and using that on Tad Road, the dust covers um, the entire wood screen, something making it very difficult um, for the drivers to actually drive through. But they had to um, endure. And around 2.33 a.m., they are still here um, in this constituency, still going to meet um, some chiefs, interact with them all in a bit um, to win um, their votes and their support come December 7th. We've been waiting here for more than 12 hours. What time did you come here yesterday? We came here. The moment we got to know that uh, he was to come, then we went to them, then they said they were coming at 8 o'clock. This government has 8 p.m. 8, uh, 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So, Tuesday. Tuesday. So we came out, we went round, we made cars to go round and look for people, uh, tell the people to come back as a failure to the previous day. And then uh, they started coming. They started coming here. If you had come here, the, the daytime, so you would have been surprised. You would have been surprised. Yeah. It was a so, fantastic. So what made you stay to endure? We, we, as, we stayed here to receive our incoming president. I came here around 5 o'clock in the evening time. Up to now. That's Tuesday, five, Tuesday 5 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. And you've been waiting here till dawn, 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. Mm.